Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Tacoma SRT5 video. I just wrapped up the Prius hatch button switch, the rubber, the rubber piece that you would grab to pull the hatch up. And right when I closed it, I realized I just replaced another part, so I might help somebody doing that. So I'm going to open my strut here, open the hatch. I just replaced these. These are the $20 Amazon ones. Uh, the score is over the winter, I use my cars in my daily, and over the winter I opened it, and I was doing something, and I know this happens to everybody at some point, and the thing just falls on your head. Not fun for anybody, so let me tell you how to replace these. You can use a needle nose or a flathead. It is as simple as... Really, I want to say one, two, three, but I don't know how many steps there actually are. So right here is a metal retaining clip. It is like a C shape. And here we'll use the head of the screwdriver. If I can hold this with enough hands here. Here, let me do this. So it's like a C shape. And that metal clip holds on to this ball like that. So you need to get that metal clip either pulled up or pulled out. So I'm only going to do the one, but here we go. You kind of, that flat head is a little large for this, but you can take this. There we go. Wiggle it in, push up, push up, get it out of the way. And yep, one isn't enough to do it to hold hold the hatch up. But you do that to one end, and you do it to the other end, and that comes out just as easy as that. That has a little grease on it. Push that on. Push your lock into place. Again, I'm doing this one-handed and this kind of stinks, but you get the idea, and it's on. It's as easy as that. These are the $20 Amazon hatch struts. Uh, it, they work very well. The only catch is if you pick it up, I'm gonna let it go. They're very strong, and they actually make the roof buckle just a hair. Um, I've bought other cheap ones before, uh, for an old car I had, and the hatch came up so fast that it come about half an inch from taking my teeth out, and, uh, you know, I just learned to stay out of the way and keep my hand on it when I let it up, but this one I'm letting, I'm gonna let it go up slowly so it doesn't bounce the roof around, because you can see right there, I don't know if you can see that or not but it actually physically moves the point because these are pushing up so hard. They work, they're great. Just, um, it was $20 instead of 100 or whatever they are from the dealership. Very easy to install. I showed you how to do the one. That's how you do the other. They do have bolts, but these bolts only hold on the bracket to the steel that has the ball at the end. So these, all four connections are exactly the same. One, two, and three four uh, it's much easier if you have a friend or if you let the hatch um, you could let the hatch rest on your shoulder as you're pushing on the new one because it, the one wouldn't hold it up so hope that helps somebody and uh, that's also one of my most recent uh, I can't say modifications because it's just a replacement of a factory part but I'm trying to get the nickel and dime stuff done and uh, just shorten the to-do list a little bit around here. So that's done. The hatch button is done. And on to the next project. And we'll see what that is. And if it's worth recording, I'll let you guys know. If you have questions about your car, fixing your car, uh, replacing light bulbs, wiper blades, how to set your tire pressure, how to change your oil, anything, let me know what I can help with. Anything I can do to develop this channel and make more people want to watch um, 
Have a good day. Hope to see you soon.